irresponsible and dangerous. That's how police describe a home in Kenosha where several exotic animals were found. Four of those animals were found dead in the backyard. Nearly a dozen still alive were taken away. AJ Bayapur tells us some unique animals were pulled from this place, right, AJ? That's right, Mary. Ted, the animals that were still alive were taken to the Racine Zoo where a vet is checking them out. Well, that includes five rattlesnakes, two alligators, a crocodile, a Gia monster, and a snapping turtle. Police also found at least four dead animals, two gators, a burnt snake, and a deer. It's a discovery that has stunned neighbors. Give the snapping turtle some relief. Yeah. Brian and Emily Bertelson can't help but stare as Kenosha police take a range of reptiles from this home near the corner of 14th Avenue and 53rd Street. We got two young children, so an alligator got loose or a, a king cobra got loose and poisoned or something. You know, it's you just never know what your neighbors are doing nowadays. Police say in the backyard, they found the skeleton of a three to four foot long alligator, the carcass of a burnt snake, another dead gator, and a deer. Inside, they discovered nearly a dozen living reptiles. I believe it is inappropriate to have these kinds of animals in a small residential in a small house in a residential neighborhood. Um, uh, I think it's always wrong for amateurs to have venomous reptiles too. The venomous creatures are five rattlesnakes and a Gia monster. Those reptiles, along with two more alligators, a crocodile, and a snapping turtle, were taken to the Racine Zoo for an evaluation. Those weren't animals that we woke up yesterday with uh, high on our wish list or really anywhere on our wish list. So we'll leave it up to the courts to determine exactly where they end up. The animal experts say the reptiles appear to be in good condition but still have to be checked out. Neighbors wonder how the animals got there in the first place. I walk up and down here almost every other day and to think I could have gotten bitten by an alligator or a rattlesnake just baffles my mind. Kenosha police say that's something they're still trying to find out. At this time, police say no one is in custody, but the investigation is ongoing. Zoo officials say the animals have been quarantined for their own safety and that of the other zoo animals. Ted, Mary? AJ, thank you. Now to that.